All right. So the moment I've been waiting for, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna get on camera here. Like I've been a talk box for the last 20 minutes. Courtney, you able to join me? Hi. Hello. Hello. So I am joined here from Courtney Chambers, who is the digital strategist for NextGen, but I'm going to allow her to, uh, you give us a little bit of insight on, tell us for those that don't know um, who NextGen and what you do, um, tell us a little bit about NextGen, if you don't mind. Definitely. Uh, Next Gen America is the largest youth organization uh, in the United States. Um, we um, our ta our target demo um, is young voters aged uh, 18 to 35. Um, our main priority is getting those folks out to vote um, and encouraging them to like get involved and get active. Um, with progressive policies um, and to really use their voice to make a difference. Um, so whether that's online, whether that's in the field, um, we are really striving to make sure that this next generation of voters, this current generation of voters has everything they need to, you know, get to the polls and make their voices heard. I love that. I love that. And so you specifically at next gen, are you, um, you know, I, I see you have a digital strategist, but what does that entail? So, uh, like you said, I am the digital strategist at NextGen. Um, if it touches email, if it touches SMS, um, it, that is all me. I am the lead copywriter um, for our email and SMS programs. Um, I set the schedules. Um, I, you know, I come up with concepts for emails and text messages that go out um, pretty much every single day uh, for our C4 list, for our for our donors, um, for everybody who is touching uh, NextGen via email or SMS, um, it is all me. Wow, wow. So I am one of the recipients, I'm on your mobile list. I love it. So I will now know I can connect a message to a face there, it's amazing. And as we move through uh, these slides, Austin, you can go to the next slide here. Um, you saw the previous slide um, there early in the webinar, there was a scan to text, also, this works right here. Uh, there's an example of a video. I think video is, is sometimes um, a missed opportunity with how we can engage folks over SMS. But what I loved here in particular um, was this middle slide here. And if you can just kind of, for our viewers and for those that are going to watch this later, tell us, tell us kind of like how you went about this message um, at NextGen. Um, just just walk us through this. What are we looking at here? Definitely. Um, so what you're looking at here is an MMS message, um, basically making the point that, you know, getting out the vote is a good thing, actually. And that's what Taylor Swift had been doing. You know, Taylor Swift has a massive online audience and she was letting, you know, her supporters know, you know, we have an election co coming up. We it's get out and vote, get registered to vote. And a lot of, you know, dissimilarly thinking people were giving her a lot of flack for that. Um, so I really wanted to capitalize on that moment um, and get out a message to, you know, the folks on our list that, you know, actually what Taylor Swift was doing was good. Um, and that people, even though they were really mad at her for, you know, bringing politics into, you know, her online space, that we should be encouraging people with big platforms to like make their voices heard. Um, and so we, the link that we included with this MMS message um, was just to like a little card, just encouraging Taylor Swift to keep, you know, encouraging people to get out the vote. And once they filled out the card, they had an uh, people had an opportunity um, to tweet at us, to tweet at Taylor Swift, to keep, to encourage her to keep doing what she's been doing um, and encouraging young people to get out there and vote. And, you know, we had a lot of people who were really excited and to engage with that message. Um, I think right now that form um, is sitting at um, 5,000 respond responses um, just from people who really resonated with that one message um, who agreed that Taylor Swift should keep getting out the vote. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's a great message. I saw that one come across and it also resonated with me. Anytime, um, uh, Anytime I see an image, I call them like a power image, right? Whether it be like this one, we're using kind of, uh, you know, a celebrity for that. But 
there are organizations that are on the front lines as well like yourself if you grab a good photo right that let that go across to um, your mobile list to kind of see some field work happening with real life subscribers members that you're touching um, so don't let that be lost right if you're thinking about should we send out an MMS work with your mobile strategist there to, to kind of see if that's a possibility um, to, to to get something like that out I'm gonna go to this next one uh, uh, that and if you can chat about this I love this tongue-in-cheek um, and I'm gonna let you kind of roll um, I'm gonna have some follow-up questions but walk us through um, this message right here because this I think would be a challenging message to to get out but if you can kind of talk us through why you wanted to get this out and was it received well within your list definitely um like i said next gen's target audience our target demo is voters aged 18 to 35. um what we've seen uh, reflected in our elected officials however is certainly not that age demographic um <laughs> So I thought it would be really fun uh, to send out a little pop quiz uh, to our SMS list and ask them, you know, what's the average age of the 118th Congress? Um, and if you didn't know, uh, the answer is C. The average age of the 118th Congress, this Congress right now, is 58 years old. Um, once people responded to that with their guess, if they um, answered correctly or incorrectly, um, we let them know. Um, and we encourage them to take action, to encourage Congress to, you know, continue thinking about issues that directly impact, you know, the youth vote. Because, you know, if the average age of Congress isn't is 58, they certainly are not thinking about issues necessarily that are most prudent to 18 to 35 year olds. So yeah. getting that message out and really having it in people's faces that this is how old our representatives are. Um, this is what we need to do to make um our voices heard i think that definitely resonated really well with people i love that and and i said i'm gonna i'm gonna try to uh, uh i'm gonna i'm gonna sit on this for for a little bit because um i know um sometimes as a digital strategist to get out a message like this to your list size can sometimes be met be met you know with skepticism are we wasting a message here are we is this really the type of message that that we want to go out you know maybe it's like you know we need to get out a fundraising message and the reason i love this is because was um you know what what was that like you know was it was it hard it sounds like next gen was very open but did you have to work with some folks to kind of to kind of push this across the finish line you know i'm really fortunate to be able to work with people um who who get the point you know what i mean who yeah. get that you know it's not necessarily not every message needs to be upfront in your face give us money uh register to vote sometimes the subtler way of going about doing things sometimes a piece that you know is a little bit more educational and a little bit more indirect with how we're able to encourage our audience to take action um is the way to go um and when i was able to put it like that when i was able to make a point that you know having this educational piece and letting people know this is the disparity we're working with um, once I was able to put it in that link, in those terms, you know, getting it out the door, um, it was a lot easier. But I can definitely see if there are organizations out there that have that challenge of not knowing what kind of content is going to resonate with their audience, you know, I can definitely see the challenge of getting something like this out there. Yeah, I love that. You know, sometimes we, we forget that um, this is a relationship and this is how almost like, I know it's in a quiz format, but if I'm trying to make the point across that, hey, our Congress, you know, I mean, they're they're not maybe representative of our age demographic, right? Like, um, it needs to be in a form like this. I love that. Um, I'm going to go to the next slide uh, here, and if you could just, I mean, I think this was an innovative. I had mentioned maybe that you know you have this idea and feature inside Mobile Commons. We have M Connects, right? We have M Datas. We have this thing called Agent View, where you're able to have a one-on-one. -on -one conversation but if you can just kind of walk us through what what this was at at next gen if you're kind of planning to do something similar for this next election definitely so this is um our voter hotline so for the 2020 election it was really important to us to be able to get the youth vote out and ready to vote um and so what 
we came up with was a way for you know people to figure out in a really streamlined in a streamlined way of, as possible what they needed um to get registered who was on the ballot where they needed to go um all in one place um, so just by replying call to get like patched through to that voter hotline so that they would have all in one place the tools they needed to like go out and make a difference. Um, and because of that, NextGen was part of, you know, getting the largest block of young voters to the polls in 2020. Um, and we're really excited to be able to continue using this tool um, to help us make that same impact in 2024. Right. I mean, thank thank you, NextGen, and thank you for, for all those that are going to listen to this. I mean, you guys essentially saved democracy as I see it and um, we're on that fight again here in 2024. For those that are watching and for those that are watching the recorded version, work with your mobile common strategists around MConnect, around Agent View, and if the idea of a hotline wants to be set up within your organization, gladly, gladly to kind of help put something in place that's similar to what NextGen um, has built here. But yeah, great use of some features we have inside the Mobile Commons platform. Uh, Austin, next slide here. Um, I just wanted to kind of quickly touch on, um, you know, we mentioned in the webinar this idea uh, around segmentation and just talk, you know, as a digital strategist, as a person, you said, I write the copy, I hit the send button. What's going through your mind when you're building audiences and for, you know, stuff that you've done in the past and maybe stuff that's coming up. It looks like I'm looking at some really exciting stuff on the screen that's popping out at me and hopefully popping out for those watching. Definitely. I think it just, for me, getting these messages out, it really goes back to basics, getting the right message to the right person at the right time. Um, so it is important to me when I'm strategizing about what kind of messages to get out to folks, um, is that is a piece of copy going to resonate with them? Um, and if it is, you know, is it relative? Is it relevant to them? Is it going to inspire them to an action? Um, is it relevant to their interests? So, being able to, you know, have all of this information, all this information available to us, um, we're able to get really, really creative with the messaging that we're able to send out to our audience through Mobile Commons. Um, uh, coming down the pipeline, we have some like horoscope-related content, um, just because, you know, we're able to capture people's birthdays and and you know like I said I keep repeating that age demographic um 18 to 35 they're really into uh or we are really into like horoscope um information um uh, we're able to segment you know by based on what causes people are most interested in um so it doesn't really make sense to send you know a hundred thousand people a message about you know climate action if only you know four thousand people we know are really going to you know take action with that message um so i personally really make a point of you know going in and making sure you know what the making sure that the copy that i'm sending out is as relevant um and entertaining to that particular audience as possible courtney i love it i love it um i'm going to quickly move us to the next slide um like i said um uh, there this will be sent out um in a deck and you're going to be able to see to see that if you can go back one more uh i think uh um just a quick um a quick call out here it's a relatively new feature new ish feature inside mobile commons um we do have political filters um working right now like um you can pull out um and target uh for for folks like hey do, where do we have in our list progressive folks that are living in conservative um, where conservative areas that are, you know, being represented by, uh, you know, a conservative legislator, and then you're able to do some cool messaging around there. You can, and we kind of give some examples of how people have used our political filters, right? This isn't just, you know, this isn't just assigning, um, hey, like I know where Courtney Chambers and who her legislator is. This is a little different, right? You're going to be able to pull out and extract everyone you know, inside that particular district and and see kind of how many members you have within your list size, um, which is a neat feature, you know, tap on your mobile strategist for that uh, piece of information. Austin, next slide, I'm gonna give out a real quick call out um, as this is gonna kind of pull us into a really cool thing that I think uh, NextGen is doing. 
but we have a feature called uh, M data, and M data is is a it's kind of our search query tool um, inside Mobile Commons, where we're able to, based on a, a location, this is a, just one way to use M data. There's there's hundreds, uh, but I would think in terms of electoral, you're able to upload maybe block walks or just um, addresses around the state or the country, and it based on hey, do you, you know, you know, give us your, um, your address and we will find a low, you know, we'll find something for you to do to volunteer within 50 miles or the closest 100 miles or 25 miles. And we're going to be able to do that inside Mobile Commons. So you kind of see event signups, event updates, getting folks to volunteer. As an old field organizer, one of the worst things was going to a block walk with just my friends right there's nothing worse when you show up with a candidate and you got you know an army of five people to block walk you're going to have to show the power of your organization right get people to those block walks i want to see numbers in the 20s and 30s carrying clipboards and get them out there m date is a great way to do that austin next slide i think this is going to blow some folks minds especially um if you have a mobilize account which a lot of our organizations inside mobile commons uh do and mobile and mobilize is exactly that it said it's a um, it's a hub for putting um events all in one place for your organization so if you can just walk me through kind of what next gen's mobilize hub looks like and i i may just toss in kind of the tech on how we're able to do this but what are you what are y'all doing here on this slide here? What do we got here? Uh, so mobilize is where we go to um, mobilize our um, our audience. Um, we have a lot of people who feel like, you know, taking online action, um, filling out forums, it's not enough for them. Um, so what mobilize is able to do for us is get those people, give those people opportunities um, to do more, uh, to volunteer with us, uh, to send texts, to make calls, um, to you know get out and volunteer for us essentially uh, to help get out the vote. Um, and once that once they sign up for a shift, a volunteer shift, uh, that information is able to go back into Mobile Commons, and we're able to continue mobilizing them to make a difference. Um, so it's a really great and cyclical um, kind of relationship that we're able to build there. Yeah. I love this. I love this. There's so many things happening within this one slide um, that it's just like, if you're watching this, right, or you're listening right now, um, I'll just boil it down into a uh, into something quick here. If you have a Mobilize account, using the M Data feature within Mobile Commons, we can then. It's not a sync. It's not a true integration. We can then spit out right um if someone were to give us their address we can then spit out some of these events that are closest to the subscribers um address that we're soliciting via mobile right yes you can text the link for the mobilize out right that's probably 90 percent of how folks will use this hi we need you, you know you know to get involved check out our mobilize link but if you want to make this and keeping the i would say there there is some data that shows keeping folks within the platform um is you know you have a higher conversion so if you want to have people not go to the mobilize site but get that same information we do have um we do have kind of like a little integration that we can plug in there and if you're interested in that reach out to your mobile common strategists um to find out more about that but i love that i went on to the mobilize with next gen and y'all have hundreds of events all around the country that i would love to be a part of so uh, 